Natural English. Learn English like a native. Hello. Welcome to Natural English. Today we are going to do English speaking practice with a new short story. First, you are going to listen to the story. Study new words to understand the story clearly. Listen to the summary of the story to understand the story. Then you will hear a lot of easy questions about the story. Try to answer these questions out loud. Repeat asking and answering to improve your speaking skill. Listen to the story without any words to improve your listening skill. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Part 1. Listen to the story. Listen to the story and try to understand the story's content. Mia got a book. Her father bought the book for her. It was a big book. It was a red book. The book had a picture of a dragon. The dragon was breathing fire. Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. The pages were thin and white. It smelled like paper. The words were small. Mia read the first sentence. The first sentence said, Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a brave knight. Mia liked the story. She kept reading until the end. When she finished, Mia told her dad, This is a good book. Her dad smiled and said, I'm glad you liked it. Mia said, Can I read it again? Her dad said, Of course, Mia. You can read it as many times as you like. She read it again. Then she put the book on the shelf. The shelf was full of books. Mia's dad liked to read too. They often went to the library. The library had many books. Mia liked fairy tales. She liked the stories with magic. Part 2. Vocabulary. Take notes for new words and speak following the video. Hug. 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 To hold close to oneself with the arms, especially to show love. Example. M.I.A. hugged the book. She hugged her son when he returned from the war. Thin. 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 Not fat, not set closely together. Example. The pages were thin and white. His hair is getting rather thin. Smell. 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 To notice by using one's nose. Example. It smelled like paper. I smell gas. Rave. 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 Without fear of danger, pain etc. Example. Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a brave knight. You're very brave. Knight. 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 A man of noble birth who is trained to fight, especially on horseback. Example. Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a brave knight. King Arthur and his knights. Shelf. 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 A board for laying things on. Example. Then she put the book on the shelf. M.I.A. puts the books on the shelf. Fairy. 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 An imaginary creature in the form of a very small, often winged, human, with magical powers. Example. M.I.A. liked fairy tales. Children often believe in fairies. Tale. 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 A story. Example. M.I.A. liked fairy tales. He told me the tale of his travels. Magic. 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 The art or practice of using supernatural forces. Example. She liked the stories with magic. 
The prince was turned by magic into a frog. Part 3. Summary of the story. Listen to the story summary to understand it more clearly. Mia received a big red book from his dad. The book had a picture of a dragon on it. She hugged it, opened it, and read a fairy tale story about a brave knight. Mia enjoyed the story and wanted to read it again. She asked her dad and her dad agreed. Mia read and put the book on the shelf. Mia and her dad loved to read so the shelf was already full of books. They often visited the library. Mia enjoyed reading fairy tales and stories with magic there. Part 4. Ask and Answer Now, I will ask you many questions about the story. If you need more time, you can pause the video and answer questions. Then play it again. Let's get started. What did Mia get? Mia got a big red book. Who bought the book for her? Her father bought the book for her. What did the book have? The book had a picture of a dragon. What was the dragon doing in the picture in the book? The dragon in the picture in the book was breathing fire. What did Mia do when she received the book from her dad? Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. What did Mia do when she opened the book? Mia read the first sentence of the book when she opened it. How were the pages in the book? The pages were thin and white. What did it smell like? It smelled like paper. How were the words in the book? The words were small. What did the first sentence of the book say? The first sentence of the book said, Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a brave knight. Did Mia like the story in the book? Yes, Mia liked the story. Did she keep reading until the end? Yes, she kept reading until the end. What did Mia think of the book? Mia thought the book was good. Whom did Mia tell about the book? Mia told her dad about the book. How did Mia's dad react to her liking the book? Mia's dad was glad that she liked the book. Could Mia read the book again? Yes, Mia could read the book as many times as she liked. What did Mia do with the book after she finished reading it? Mia put the book on the shelf with her other books. What did Mia's dad also like to do? Mia's dad also liked to read. Where did Mia and her dad often go to get books? Mia and her dad often went to the library to get books. What kind of stories did Mia like? Mia liked stories with magic in them. Did Mia like the way the book smelled? Yes, Mia liked the way the book smelled like paper. Were the pages in the book thick or thin? The pages in the book were thin. Were the words in the book large or small? The words in the book were small. Did Mia finish the book? Yes, Mia finished the book. What did Mia do after finishing the book? Mia told her dad that it was a good book. Did Mia put the book back on the shelf after finishing it? Yes, Mia put the book back on the shelf. 
Was the library a good place for Mia to find books? Yes, the library had many books for Mia to choose from. Did Mia only like fairy tales? Yes, Mia liked fairy tales. Part 5, Practice Speaking Now, let's practice speaking on the topic of the above story. I will say each sentence, then repeat each word so you can repeat after me. Try to practice speaking fluently the questions and answers of today's topic. Let's get started. What did Mia get? What did Mia get? What did Mia get? Mia got a big red book. Mia got a big red book. Mia got a big red book. Who bought the book for her? Who bought the book for her? Who bought the book for her? Her father bought the book for her. Her father bought the book for her. Her father bought the book for her. What did the book have? What did the book have? What did the book have? The book had a picture of a dragon. The book had a picture of a dragon. The book had a picture of a dragon. What was the dragon doing in the picture in the book? What was the dragon doing in the picture in the book? What was the dragon doing in the picture in the book? The dragon in the picture in the book was breathing fire. The dragon in the picture in the book was breathing fire. The dragon in the picture in the book was breathing fire. What did Mia do when she received the book from her dad? What did Mia do when she received the book from her dad? What did Mia do when she received the book from her dad? Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. What did Mia do when she opened the book? What did Mia do when she opened the book? What did Mia do when she opened the book? Mia read the first sentence of the book when she opened it. Mia read the first sentence of the book when she opened it. Mia read the first sentence of the book when she opened it. How were the pages in the book? How were the pages in the book? How were the pages in the book? The pages were thin and white. The pages were thin and white. The pages were thin and white. What did it smell like? 
What did it smell like? What did it smell like? It smelled like paper. It smelled like paper. It smelled like paper. How were the words in the book? How were the words in the book? How were the words in the book? The words were small. The words were small. The words were small. What did the first sentence of the book say? What did the first sentence of the book say? What did the first sentence of the book say? The first sentence of the book said, Once upon a time, in a far off land, there was a brave knight. The first sentence of the book said, Once upon a time, in a far off land, there was a brave knight. The first sentence of the book said, Once upon a time, in a far off land, there was a brave knight. Did Mia like the story in the book? Did Mia like the story in the book? Did Mia like the story in the book? Yes, Mia liked the story. Yes, Mia liked the story. Yes, Mia liked the story. Did she keep reading until the end? Did she keep reading until the end? Did she keep reading until the end? Yes, she kept reading until the end. Yes, she kept reading until the end. Yes, she kept reading until the end. What did Mia think of the book? What did Mia think of the book? What did Mia think of the book? Mia thought the book was good. Mia thought the book was good. Mia thought the book was good. Whom did Mia tell about the book? Whom did Mia tell about the book? Whom did Mia tell about the book? Mia told her dad about the book. Mia told her dad about the book. Mia told her dad about the book. How did Mia's dad react to her liking the book? How did Mia's dad react? To her liking the book. How did Mia's dad react to her liking the book? Mia's dad was glad that she liked the book. Mia's dad was glad that she liked the book. Mia's dad was glad that she liked the book. Could Mia read the book again? Could Mia read the book again? Could Mia read the book again? Yes, Mia could read the book as many times as she liked. 
Yes. Mia. Could. Read. The. Book. As. Many. Times. As. She. Liked. Yes, Mia could read the book as many times as she liked. What did Mia do with the book after she finished reading it? What. Did. Mia. Do. With. The. Book. After. She. Finished. Reading. It. What did Mia do with the book after she finished reading it? Mia put the book on the shelf with her other books. Mia. Put. The. Book. On. The. Shelf. With. Her. Other. Books. Mia put the book on the shelf with her other books. What did Mia's dad also like to do? What. Did. Mia's. Dad. Also. Like. To. Do. What did Mia's dad also like to do? Mia's dad also liked to read. Mia's. Dad. Also. Liked. To. Read. Mia's dad also liked to read. Where did Mia and her dad often go to get books? Where. Did. Mia. And. Her. Dad. Often. Go. To. Get. Books. Where did Mia and her dad often go to get books? Mia and her dad often went to the library to get books. Mia. And. Her. Dad. Often. Went. To. The. Library. To. Get. Books. Mia and her dad often went to the library to get books. What kind of stories did Mia like? What. Kind. Of. Stories. Did. Mia. Like. What kind of stories did Mia like? Mia liked stories with magic in them. Mia. Liked. Stories. With. Magic. In. Them. Mia liked stories with magic in them. Did Mia like the way the book smelled? Did. Mia. Like. The. Way. The. Book. Smelled? Did Mia like the way the book smelled? Yes, Mia liked the way the book smelled like paper. Yes. Mia. Liked. The. Way. The. Book. Smelled. Like. Paper. Yes, Mia liked the way the book smelled like paper. Were the pages in the book thick or thin? Were. The. Pages. In. The. Book. Thick. Or. Thin. Were the pages in the book thick or thin? The pages in the book were thin. The. Pages. In. The. Book. Were. Thin. The pages in the book were thin. Were the words in the book large or small? Were. The. Words. In. The. Book. Large. Or. Small. Were the words in the book large or small? The words in the book were small. The. Words. In. The. Book. Were. Small. The words in the book were small. Did Mia finish the book? Did. Mia. Finish. The. Book. Did Mia finish the book? Yes, 
Mia finished the book. Yes. Mia. Finished. The. Book. Yes, Mia finished the book. What did Mia do after finishing the book? What. Did. Mia. Do. After. Finishing. The. Book. What did Mia do after finishing the book? Mia told her dad that it was a good book. Mia. Told. Her. Dad. That. It. Was. A. Good. Book. Mia told her dad that it was a good book. Did Mia put the book back on the shelf after finishing it? Did. Mia. Put. The. Book. Back. On. The. Shelf. After. Finishing. It. Did Mia put the book back on the shelf after finishing it? Yes, Mia put the book back on the shelf. Yes. Mia. Put. The. Book. Back. On. The. Shelf. Yes, Mia put the book back on the shelf. Was the library a good place for Mia to find books? Was. The. Library. A. Good. Place. For. Mia. To. Find. Books. Was the library a good place for Mia to find books? Yes, the library had many books for Mia to choose from. Yes. The. Library. Had. Many. Books. For. Mia. To. Choose. From. Yes, the library had many books for Mia to choose from. Did Mia only like fairy tales? Did. Mia. Only. Like. Fairy. Tales. Did Mia only like fairy tales? Yes, Mia liked fairy tales. Yes. Mia. Liked. Fairy. Tales. Yes, Mia liked fairy tales. Part 6, Listen to the story without any words. We're almost done with today's lesson. Now we'll double check our results. Listen to the whole story again without seeing any words. If you've heard and understood every sentence, congratulations, you had a great study session. However, if you still can't hear all the sentences clearly, please study this lesson again. Let's get started. Mia got a book. Her father bought the book for her. It was a big book. It was a red book. The book had a picture of a dragon. The dragon was breathing fire. Mia hugged the book. Mia opened the book. The pages were thin and white. It smelled like paper. The words were small. Mia read the first sentence. The first sentence said, Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a brave knight. Mia liked the story. She kept reading until the end. When she finished, Mia told her dad, This is a good book. Her dad smiled and said, I'm glad you liked it. Mia said, Can I read it again? Her dad said, of course, Mia. You can read it as many times as you like. She read it again. Then she put the book on the shelf. The shelf was full of books. Mia's dad liked to read too. They often went to the library. The library had many books. Mia liked fairy tales. She liked the stories with magic. Okay, that is the end of the lesson. Please listen to the lesson many times until you answer the questions quickly and confidently. If you have any questions about the lesson, please comment below this video. Please subscribe to our channel to listen to more lessons whenever and wherever you want. 
Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. And that's all, for now, see you at the next lesson on the Natural English Channel.